colleagues, last month, the world crossed a tragic milestone. More than 100 million people displaced by war, violence, and persecution. It's a record that should never have been set. Now a new senseless war in Ukraine has led to the worst refugee crisis in Europe since the Second World War, with social and economic impacts affecting the entire world, while ongoing crises in Afghanistan, Myanmar, Syria, and other conflict-affected areas are forcing people to flee their homes in danger. The theme of this year's World Refugee Day is that whoever, wherever, whenever, people always have the right to seek safety, and we always have the obligation to support. Today reminds us of the importance of empathy. Today shines a light on the strength, the resilience, and the skills of refugees. Those who have lost everything and yet carry on with courage. We have seen refugees here in India and around the world, while needing and deserving of safety and support themselves, giving back to their host communities. Today, we also thank India and its people for demonstrating solidarity with the most vulnerable for the generosity and the humanity of India, including refugees and asylum seekers in the National Vaccination Program, for example. And we celebrate the volunteers and the communities across India that have made refugees and asylum seekers feel so welcome. So today, on World Refugee Day, we all express solidarity with refugees in our communities and around the world. And I hope that each one of us will acknowledge and admire the drive, determination, and contributions made by people forced to flee their homes throughout the year. On this day, as every other day, the UN in India, led by UNHCR, works to ensure that every refugee receives what they are entitled to, what every human is entitled to and deserves, safety, opportunity, and dignity. I thank everyone for standing with us in this important commitment to ensure that no one is left behind. Bahat Tanyabadi.